gnome shell extensions are something that you should not avoid using uh, they offer great functional functions and so we'll learn how to install them using uh, zip files that we download from and the gnome extension website there is another method by installing an add-on on firefox i'm not going to tell you how to do that but you can use this method it works so the first thing you should do is install uh, some uh, available uh, some basic shell extensions by running sudo apt install gnome shell extension extensions and I've already installed them and then there is another command sudo apt install chrome chrome gnome shell and this one is also installed on my laptop so I don't have to install it again uh, okay these two are I don't know if they are mandatory or not but I did it and it worked so you should do it and there's no problem in installing them uh, the um, I think they might not be necessary if you are going to use the zip file method but in future if you use the Firefox add-on method then you will surely need them so it's better to install them okay next what we do is we go to the uh, website of gnome shell extensions extensions.gnome.org then search for your extension like i am going to download this one draw on your screen then uh, select the shell version mine is 3.36 now if you are not sure what's your shell version what your shell version is then what you can do is just type uh, gnome dash shell Space dash dash version and you get the version 3.36.1 now what I'm going to do is uh, just select my version and extension version is the only available so I and it's downloaded so I'll do show in folder so this is my file now what I have to do is extract it here okay now copy this file uh, sorry copy this folder then go to the home directory press ctrl h sorry it was already so yeah press ctrl h to see the hidden files and folders you have to find this dot local directory press enter in this dot local directory open the share folder then inside this you will have a gnome shell yes this is the gnome shell folder now in gnome shell folder you'll have extensions folder then in the extension folder you have to paste the folder that you copied now uh, we need to change the name of this folder for that open the folder that I just copied this folder open it and inside it there will be a metadata.json and inside it there will be a UUID copy the UUID okay close it sorry now go back okay now I have to rename it so I paste the uh, UUID that I copied from the metadata file rename okay it's renamed no, now I have to uh, restart it so that I do by pressing alt plus F2 not restart the computer restart the gnome shell and press R and it is done now if I want to write something on the screen I can write it using I think it's this yes I have it so that's and I can change the color so that's how you install a gnome shell and that's all for this video